guys tonight I'm going to be making homemade corn tortillas I've never made them before so I'm really excited about this I'm going to be using a product called Masika I'll put a link down below to the company they are a gluten-free corn flour masa mix I'm going to start off by only putting in one and a quarter cups of the flour a pinch of salt I'm only going to be making six tortillas now I'm going to add a half a cup of warm water and I'm going to use my hands to mix this up. As you can see the dough is very dry as soon as that happens. Just add a little bit of water, a tablespoon at a time, to so form it into a ball. So I form the dough into a ball. It's like the consistency of Play-Doh. It's about the closest thing I can think to say it resembles says to keep it covered with the damp cloth while you're rolling out the other tortillas. I've seen two different methods online. Some people say to rest it for a half an hour and other people just go right from here. I have the six balls underneath a dampened paper towel. Because I don't have a tortilla press, I said to take a Ziploc bag, cut the zipper part off and cut down both sides of it. Place one of your balls in the center, cover it with the plastic wrap, and then take a plate to start smushing it. This is going to be a little hard one-handed. Okay, now we have a little bit flat. I'm going to use my rolling pin to roll it out the rest of the way. In the meantime, I have a skillet heating up on the stove. Because I'm only making six, I'm just using a skillet. If I was making a lot more, I would use my big griddle instead. I rolled it out. As you can tell, it's far from a perfect circle. I'm going to peel the top layer. I did see that some people will take a bowl and put it upside down on it and they'll cut around it so that it's an absolute perfect circle, but this is fine for me. We're just having quick tacos tonight and this will be just fine. This is going to now go into my skillet and cook for a minute or so on each side. You cook for about two minutes, only flipping it once. You'll see little blisters starting to puff. And there you go. So let me see how the other side looks. Now I'm cooking the second one. The first one I have wrapped up in some paper towels to keep it warm. It's only going to take a few minutes to cook a total of six of these. While one's cooking, I roll out the next tortilla. It was really easy to peel the tortilla right off the Ziploc bag. That was a really great, helpful hint. I just want to show you how easily this plastic bag peels right off the tortilla. And then you just lift it up in your hand and just put it right into the pan. So just peel the tortilla off in your hand and just drop it down into the frying pan. So there are my six tortillas. Ready to fill them up with the taco meat. There's my first homemade corn tortilla taco. I'm not going to be able to pick it up and hold it because I'll need two hands so I won't be able to hold it with the camera but it has a nice consistency. Looking forward to trying this out. Dinner served. Okay so there it is folded and held together. Looks great. Very happy about this. Now I'm on the second one. I'm happy to say they taste absolutely delicious and they were very easy to make. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.